Hey guys, I'm Tesla and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we're using the first person template and we're going to change the projectile to an explosive projectile. So something like a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher. And I'm also going to cover some more features of the destructible meshes in this one. So to begin with, we'll come to the blueprints and find my projectile. Just here. We'll come to the components and let's add a radial force. So this is going to be the explosive force of the projectile. Scroll down here, turn up the impulse a bit, and we want to apply some destructible damage. I'm going to just change that to 1. And um, you can change the radial force so it affects more objects in the world when it explodes. I'm going to leave it as it is. We can come to the graph now, and we'll begin by taking out this destroy actor. We'll drag out the sphere, click get, drag this out and we want to type in destroy component. Now the reason for this is we don't we're gonna sorry we're gonna spawn some sound effects and particle systems after the projectile impacts with an object but we want the projectile to disappear but we don't want to destroy the sound effects and the um, particles. So after we've done that we'll drag out the radial force, we'll click get, drag this out again and we're gonna type in fire impulse. So this will activate the explosive force once it impacts an object. Now before we connect these we need to do a do once. If we don't do this we're going to get multiple particle effects and sound effects which are pretty much unwanted. And now we can drag out this, we'll type in spawn emitter at location and this is going to be our explosion particle. Now we can drag this one out. We can get the get world location. And now we can connect that to here. So our particle will spawn where the explosion really is. Drag this one out. Spawn, sorry, um, audio. We'll type in audio. Play sound attached. We can select the asset. We're going to choose the explosion sound effect and we can connect the components right here so that's great and now we can destroy the actor after this but we want to give it a bit of time because otherwise the particle system will get cut off and the sound effect might get cut off so we'll drag this out we'll type it in delay I'm gonna give it five seconds and now we can drag it out and type in destroy actor now we should have a grenade launcher slash rocket launcher kind of weapon. So that works, but one problem is if we shoot the floor or the wall it's not exploding. Now the reason for that is these box geometries right here we can't change the collision. We might have to I think we have to create static meshes and change them to physics actors. And uh, I'm going to leave that for now. Maybe you guys can have a look into that for me and let me know and I'll attach it to the video info. And um, now let's come to, come to the destructible meshes. And we, by default, if we turn on um, simulate physics, our projectile is not colliding with it and we can run straight through it. So that's a bit of a problem. We want it to explode when we shoot it. Now, we can do that by unchecking async scene, jump in again, and our projectile is now colliding with it. Now there's one more thing we need to do to make it explode. These, All these boxes here are physics actors on the collisions, and this is set to destructible. Now if we change this to a physics actor, I can now run into it and explode it. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. If anyone can figure out the, the floor or the, the wall uh, problem, um, or maybe if I do, I'll definitely add it to this video. But thanks a lot for checking it out, and make sure you stay subscribed for any future tutorials. Cheers guys.